Signing up with InstaMojo is really easy. Just click on the link that I have given in the video description. And once you click on that, you'll be able to see a screen like this. Just click on sign up. Once you do that, you have multiple options here. So it says uh, sign up with Google account or continue with Facebook or you can certainly enter your email address and choose a password and sign up as a business, right? So that's how you can do it. The easiest way to do is uh, sign up with Google. So just click on this. So select the Google account that you want to use. Next, uh, enter your phone number to verify. So click on send OTP. Now enter the OTP that you received and click on verify. So it says get started with your online business. So uh, select as uh, payment, collect and send payments. So select on the payments option. So now it is going to ask you for a username. So enter a unique username. So it could be a combination of your first name and last name if it is unique. Uh, just click on the next step. Now what type of business are you? Uh, if you are uh, individual, you can select as individual. If you are uh, organization, select as a second option. Uh, if you are a proprietor, uh, then select first uh, yes option. If not, no. And then click on next. So now it is asking you for uh, your business details. So uh, you can just select as, uh, I just selected the category as education and jobs, online teaching, uh, approximate annual income, uh, how old is your business, less than six months, uh, self-employed, do you have a website? Uh, if you don't have a website, you can just select no. And please describe your product or service in detail. Uh, just give a brief details about your business. And if you're going to be a reseller, you can uh, still mention the details. Once done, click on next. So in this uh, more business details, uh, please enter your PAN number, uh, your name as it appears in the PAN card, your address, state, PIN. Next, uh, it says GST and ID. If you have the GST ID, you can enter it. If not, it's optional. Uh, what do you sell? Services, products, others. I've just selected as products. Uh, you can certainly select what uh, kind of uh, uh, things you would be selling. Either it's a physical product or if it's just services, you can select that. Or if you want to select others, you can also do that. Next step is adding the bank account details. Now here we need to add the bank account details. So let me just enter the details here. So once you enter the bank account details, make sure you are just going to uh, cross check once. Okay. Enter your bank account number, then confirm your bank account number. Uh, it says account must belong to yes. Enter the uh, IFSC code. Once that is done, just click on accept terms and create account. Now that's it. Congratulations. You are ready to collect payments. Auto approved limit is 10,000 rupees per month and you are all good to use your Instamojo account right now. So you can see here, it says credit card, debit cards are accepted, net banking is accepted, UPI is accepted, wallets, EMI options, all those things are accepted. International cards, it's only on request and domestic American Express also on request. Okay. So with this, uh, your account is set up and now this is your uh, default payment link. If you want to receive a uh, fund for something, you can just share this right when somebody opens this particular link okay uh, they can type the purpose of payment and amount and pay and it is going to come to your account okay that's how it is going to happen now quickly just click on go to dashboard okay so it says uh, once you come to dashboard it says account limit of uh, 10,000 rupees if you want to increase the monthly limit more than 10,000 rupees all you need to do is just click on submit KYC. It is going to have the uh, details of the documents that would be required. So once you complete this uh, KYC process, your limit will be increased. Now say for example, you want to uh, collect a payment or uh, something like that, then you can just click on uh, create new. Okay. So you have three options that is there. Payment link is the most easiest one where you don't have to enter much information. Now smart, smart page is something where you can uh, add images and those kind of things where it looks like more of a page. Online store where you can list the products kind of thing. Okay. So say for example, I'm just going to mention as a payment link. Let me say as a test payment. Okay. 
and say for example I'm going to say as uh, 4999 just click on create once done you have the link you can just copy this and share it to somebody who has to pay okay this is how it is going to appear test payment amount name email phone number uh, when they click on next they will be taken to the payment screen where they are going to pay once they pay it is going to be reflected in your insta mojo account so all the recent payments will be shown in the dashboard so where you can find the amount and everything the complete details can be found under payment section so each and every transaction detail will be shown here that's how it is going to appear so that's how you create insta mojo account i hope this video was helpful uh, if you like this video then please do give a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe to the channel see you in the next video